Hello, welcome to a new and weekly. So I don't actually have any makeup on. No, well, I lie, I lie. I have a bit of makeup on, not much. And um, I'm just heading out right now. It's my best friend's birthday and I'm taking her for a surprise dinner somewhere she's never been, somewhere I've been twice. Absolutely loved it, it's called Isho. We just got back to Leeds and something I was meant to do in the fashion week fell through for various reasons. And it's her birthday tomorrow and I don't have time to see her for the rest of the weekend because I'm heading to Italy and I was like, I need to surprise her. So I told her to meet me for a date at 7.30 and then I'm gonna take her. They have a new live music night launching. They do the best cocktails, the best Japanese food and it's, I don't know if any of you guys are from Leeds or if you're northern, but it's like the best new restaurant in Leeds. So I'm gonna make Matt drive me and I'm gonna do my makeup in the car. In fact, I'm gonna try to do some makeup now because I really, really, really need to go. I've been trying to take my eyes off you. Oh, girl, it ain't easy. Just let go of that body. Why well, you gotta keep flirting like you do? I waited so patiently, but you don't seem sorry. I see a little see you trying to make some plans. Okay, I have lip liner on. I've not finished my makeup. Spritz of this and I'm good to go. I just opened the biggest parcel ever of new holiday clothes, which I will try on for you guys tomorrow. Seriously big haul. Um, this smells so good. I actually had to stop to film this for you. Elizabeth and James Nirvana. And this one is black. Smell me. How good do I smell? That smells well, so actually, good, doesn't it? Yes. Nice. So that's Elizabeth and James. That is like the best date night scent ever. Can I date I like with that. you, aren't I? Yeah, I'm just for it. <laughs> no, Matt's gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna take Gabby out for dinner. I'm so excited to give her her presents, right? Let's do this! Oh, hey! <laughs> Sunday today. I didn't vlog yesterday because yesterday was basically just a day of admin. I mean, look at the state of my room. I basically unpacking like four suitcases, really trying to get my life on track. Um, I haven't got any makeup on. I know I say that, and usually I have like a little bit of something on, but I actually don't have any makeup on. Just awful tan that needs scrubbing off. Um, I've just been to the gym, hence the sweatiness and hence the. I literally look awful. Um, oh, I've chipped my nail. Yeah, so I've just been to a spin class at David Lloyd. Absolutely smashed it. I feel a bit crap because I've just not had the time to gym properly recently. I think because I've been like living out of a suitcase and everything, it's just been like, oh. And I really need to gym for like my well-being, like my mental kind of health. 
it makes me just feel so happy when I gym. So I went to spin yesterday, spin today, feeling good. I like to gym at least three times a week, but at least I've done two this week. Better than nothing. So I'm going to organise my room. I mean, I am getting there, but I've got like a bag of holiday clothes, a bag of clothes to try on. I'm going to try some stuff on for you when I get out of the shower today. A bag of stuff to pack for Greece, a bag of stuff to pack for the Caribbean, and then a bag of stuff to pack for Italy. Yeah, so we're driving to London today and we're heading to Italy um, in the morning. Long story, but all will be revealed tomorrow, so I'm going to go have some green tea. And my mum has made the most amazing Sunday dinner toad in the hole ever. Like, literally, so excited. Daisy Hoban florist um, how wonderful so that's really lovely so while I'm on the topic of these I'm gonna quickly show you some parcels so I know you guys always ask me for PO box hauls um, and I had some cool stuff come this week so I thought I'd quickly show you that that as well so I'll pop upstairs so I got this from replica they're doing oops they are doing personalization of Maison Margiela fragrances now available at Selfridges. Hashtag smells like memories. How lovely is that? And look, this one. Is it this one that says M on? No. Wrong. This one says M on it. How wonderful is that? Bondi Sands. I don't actually use Bondi Sands that much anymore. This is a gradual tanning oil. So I might try that. Oh wow, and with a self tanning back applicator. Nice. These are new from Itsu. They're like, I'm not gonna have these because I hate wasabi. But these sound so good. Peking duck flavor prawn crackers. Only 96 calories. So like healthy crisps. While we're on the topic of healthy crisps, I am obsessed with these. Yoswa, I can't pronounce it, Yoswa. Um, they're just incredible. They're like healthy peas. I've basically been having them for so, so, so long. Like maybe over a year now. You'll have seen them in my vlogs before. Um, but I need to get some more because I'm running out. 72% green pea, high source of protein, high in fiber, vegetarian and gluten free. And they taste really good. They're like a really good snack when you just want to have something good for you, but not be unhealthy. When you want to have something that, yeah, isn't unhealthy, but isn't naughty, but tastes naughty, yeah, they're really good. So Joe Loves is owned by the actual lady, Joe Malone. Um, she sold Joe Malone and now this is Joe Loves, her new brand. And I've loved it for ages and ages. This is Red Truffle and this is a paintbrush. So it just comes out as a gel and then you paint the fragrance on your skin. How amazing is that? I love Clarins so much and this is their Sun Protection Essentials. This is from World GT Free. Amazing. So these are coming with me. Oh, this box has arrived from Dermalogica. Cleansing is the first step of a skincare routine, but healthier skin that begins with zero. So it's a challenge. I actually used to get Dermalogica stuff. I've been using Dermalogica for like a very long time. It was one of the first skincare brands I used. I bought this book. In fact, I bought this book as a present for lots of people. It's just so relevant. A young man's belief that every day can be a good day. Um, and it's about Henry Fraser. He genuinely is so remarkable and it's about his story. So I'd highly recommend people get this. I'm really excited to read it. So this came from Michael Kors. Oh my God, look how amazing this is. Dun, dun, dun. Sexy Ruby. I can't actually get this out. Yes. I'm gonna have a very happy Matt. Or maybe my brother. Look how cute this is. Hugo Boss for him. Uh, I got a yoga mat which is the most beautiful print and it's actually really thick and good so I'm gonna have to go to yoga now um, and I got it with these from Jolique. I used to love Jolique, I've not used that stuff for ages but this is a shower gel and a body lotion, I'll save this for my new house. Last but certainly not least, anyone who knows me knows that Flower Bomb has been a long time favourite 
and they now do minis. Oh my goodness, I don't know if this is in focus, but these are so cute. They're like little travel minis. Oh my lordy. Oh hello, it's an M in her natural habitat, so now I've shown you my parcels. Also, I've just tidied them all away and look how clean my office is. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Yes, I have a rose gold face mask on. I'm gonna quickly show you the stuff that I pampered with. And I felt like I really, really just wanted a pamper. So, yeah, this camera's on autofocus and everything's auto about it. I know there were a lot of comments on my last vlog about the sound. I've changed the settings, so hopefully you guys are gonna like the sound this time. I think just it's like when you've got new equipment, shit happens, stuff goes wrong. I'm sorry about that guys, but thanks for the feedback. It really means a lot. So I'm currently using Origins Ginseng Peel Off Mask. This is meant to refine and refresh, to lift away dull dead skin and dirt while refining pores. Skin looks smoother and refreshed. Oh my God, I love this. It's gonna peel off. I love peeling off face masks. L'Oreal Professional, um, it's their silver shampoo. It's the only thing that seems to be keeping my hair really nice and bright at the moment. Um, and then I did one wash with that because otherwise it goes a bit too purple. Then one wash with Mane and Tail shampoo and then one with their conditioner. Super excited to start using it because it's the stuff that they just started selling in Sainsbury's. It's meant to grow your hair. Please grow my hair. Also, while I'm in my bathroom, I got this the other day because I've been wanting to try it for so long. This is Paula's Choice Resist C15 Super Booster. I've been using this serum. It's got 15% vitamin C in it, which is basically meant to boost your skin like... It's meant to make your skin look incredible. Um, finally used the pre-cleanse balm as well today. So yeah, that's a quick little tour of what's been going on in my room. I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm gonna actually start organizing my room again. Let's do this. So these are all clothes for summery adventures. Um, this is my new swimming costume. This is probably a little bit too um, small, but I'm gonna keep it anyway, because I like it. <laughs> it's like eight pounds, it's so cheap. Then I got this dress, which is super cute. I did try to go for things that like you can use for autumn as well, so this with like tights, because I know that not many people are doing summer stuff now. Look at the back of it, it's so cute. This is not meant to be a swimsuit haul, by the way. Yeah, this is great for autumn, guys. Wear this with your tights. No, I'm joking. Um, I really like this. This is such a lovely swimming costume. This would be a really nice body, actually, with, like, a skirt. Love, love, love. This obviously needs some serious ironing. But how lovely is this dress? It needs ironing. I think I might pack it for Verona for dinner, potentially. Then I got this, which is such a cute maxi dress. Love this so much. I'll link everything below, by the way. Okay, so this is cute. A bit more autumn can we say. You could wear this with tights and boots. I love this. I love tie dresses. Like the wrap round and tie, super cute. The most summery dress to exist, couldn't resist. I've always wanted a dress with lemons on it. Da -da -da, lemony. <laughs> this kept selling out and I am so glad it's back in stock. You like tie the front and then it's a maxi. Oh my lord, I'm in love. This obviously needs ironing, but how cute is this two piece? I love this for winter. I might even wear this to the airport tomorrow with some um, trainers. I love this so much, what a beautiful bodycon. Again, I'll link everything below. How cute is this, it's like a going out dress. So before you judge, before I show you this, I ordered this because I was like, I just want to dress as a devil for Halloween and see what this dress looks like. Not that I have any Halloween plans and I definitely won't get any Halloween plans. And I ordered it and I actually quite like it, but Matt said, Matt's just going to the shower by the way, that's a noise you can hear. Matt said it's um, a bit naughty and I feel like um, it would only be suitable for Halloween but I really like it but I'm going to show you. 
But there we go, lots and lots of different outfits, some summer stuff for my holiday to Greece, some stuff for Verona tomorrow, and some kind of autumny stuff, um, but yeah, I am just going to quickly finish packing my bag and then we're driving to London, we've got like a five hour drive ahead, so let's do this. buongiorno however you say hello in Italian so we just got to Italy we are in Verona and we are here for literally just over 24 hours I'm here with Ask Italian so excited just put my new dress on we literally need to brush out next we're going for lunch this is our room I'll quickly show you the room and then we're gonna head out for lunch Good afternoon. So, we rushed, we had lunch. It was an amazing little place that we went for lunch with beautiful views and the beautiful river that you just saw. And now we're just quickly wandering around and then we have a pasta making class. Of course, because we would ask when we're in Italy, it's just started raining, which I'm quite sad about. Only I would start vlogging and then someone would start drilling. But this is our hotel behind us. It's so beautiful, it's really different to like the Amalfi Coast. I'll leave a link below to my Amalfi Coast vlog. Um, but it's kind of similar to Milan and apparently it's like Rome. But I've never been to Rome, so I'm really excited. It's beautiful also. I love this dress today. I'll link everything below. Oh my goodness, that was the world's quickest outfit change ever. I did want to wear this, the blue maxi, but I don't actually have an iron and it's very creased, so I'm wearing this instead. Again, I'll link it below. I'm wearing a new lipstick from Huda, Huda Beauty, which I love, can't pronounce anything. Right, we're going to make pasta now with Ask. I am so excited for this. Are you excited to make pasta? So, we're just walking to dinner. Sorry if the sound is weird. There's lots of loud cars behind me. Um, Verona's not very pedestrianized. Not that I expect it to be. Just lots of traffic um, to have our umbrellas because it's raining. Every time I go somewhere it rains. But you know what? Italy is still so beautiful in the rain. I'm just sad that we don't have long to explore Verona. We have like a full day tomorrow so I'll do lots of exploring tomorrow. So beautiful and I am so not dressed for this weather. Everyone else in jeans and I'm just like, ooh, a skirt, shoes, her legs out. actually making our own so you've just seen me leave the dough and now we're just about to look at the purple basil. This is our creation. Oh, it smells amazing. So this is, how do we describe what this even is? Thank Fresh you. Pasta. Fresh pasta with ricotta filling and pesto. How delicious. Go. 
good morning guys oh my goodness my contact lenses are stuck together um excuse the state of me and my voice we had a really late night last night and got up so early this morning hence me sounding like a guide um we are now just at a basil farm that also feels horrendous but at a basil farm i'm just grabbing my bags and it's the worst weather ever um but yeah we're at thank you and we're at a basil farm, Ooh, about to look at where the purple basil comes from. <laughs> new fashion statement, guys. So we're just, oh my gosh, I'm just stood on the basil. But this is basically the purple basil that we made pesto with last night that we ate and yeah this is really cool so they're like the only people that actually use this and um, in recipes and that's why we're here to see the purple basil see it being grown taste it actually tastes nicer than green basil but you'll have to wait until it's on the new menu to try it for yourself but it's actually really really delicious back from the basil farm I actually feel like I never appreciate how much goes into food that I eat and it's really cool, it's like a family run business and seeing how they actually make like pesto and basil is awesome and knowing that they like, that they supply and like help restaurants and stuff, it's really cool and then also the guy that owned it, a work there, gave his cake which is so cute but um, yeah, we'll have lunch now Waiting to see the view we have for lunch. We're eating inside though because it's freezing. I'm just wandering around the beautiful streets. My mum's never been to Italy and I'm desperate to bring her. I just wish she was here now to like see this because the streets are just so cute and so quaint. Like, oh my god, I'm so jealous of people that live here. had the weirdest moment ever we were just walking down the street and this guy got like mobbed by loads of people going and taking pictures of him and i thought he was a youtuber but actually it turns out he's a singer because there's those people going to the arena tonight and he must be performing so we're frantically trying to google to find out who he is but the funny thing is it really reminded me of lizzie mcguire when lizzie mcguire did the this is what dreams are made of film if anyone remembers that let me know literally it reminded me like Paolo, 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 sing to me Paolo from that. So yeah, if anyone knows that reference, I love you. Got my jacket on because it's a bit chilly. I'm gonna quickly go to Louis Vuitton and then we're gonna say goodbye to Verona. It was like 30 hours we had here. Thank you so much Ask for bringing me. It was amazing to test out the new special ingredient, which is going to be, I think it installs from next week actually. So I'm gonna go try it, but we're going to Greece on Thursday. So I'll try it after that, but yeah, goodbye. Good morning. Um, I'm absolutely exhausted. I have no voice. If it wasn't minging, I would show you the back of my throat right now because I think I might have tonsillitis coming on. So we did like a quick, I think it was like 30 hours or something um, in Verona with Ask. And I feel so grateful that my job allows me to have these opportunities. Like it was amazing. True fact, I just got in a car. Hey, Matt. Hello. Um, true fact. I actually applied for a job at Ask Italian when I was 16, so it's been like someone that I've actually eaten at and loved for a long, long, long time. I didn't even get the job. Um, I ended up working at All Saints instead. But yeah, so it was really nice to like meet them, learn about their basil farms, actually see where your food comes from. So that felt very special. Now, we've just driven back from Gatwick. I'm still dressed really summery, even though it's absolutely freezing today. We are heading to Greece tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow. So we are just heading to Meadow Hall. It's kind of en route from Matt's house. So we're heading to Meadow Hall to get a few last minute bits. I kind of want to see if somewhere we'll do my eyebrows. Um, also, I want to just have a look if I've got any good sale stuff. And there are some autumn boots that I really, really want. Even though it's not autumn in, in um, Greece, I would quite like some autumn boots. So let's go to Meadow Hall. And also we're hungry, so we thought we might as well go and get some food there. So I've seen someone wearing some boots in River Island that I'm like absolutely in love with so I'm going to quickly head into their first and see if I can find them. So mission complete, walked in and got the boots from River Island and um, I'll show you them when I get home maybe I'll have to like try them on for you. I didn't even try them on, I've just seen them on someone on Instagram. I knew I wanted them, that's the power of influencers. So 
so I could literally match the shoes that I just bought. Look, what do you think? <laughs> no, I love it. By itself, it's probably not with the matching boots that I just bought. Is this a real cactus? And then spiked his finger. The smallest cactus I've ever seen in my life. Did not realise, but they have um, a flannels in Meadowhall now, and Matt said it's been here for ages. It's been here for a couple of months, so it's um, just open. And now they sound like Valentino. So happy, so now we're gonna get some food. Successful shopping trip. We are now just in Wagamama's having some food. I love this Japanese in Leeds, so I kind of don't tend to go to Wagamama's because I like authentic Japanese, but it's still great. There's so many food options in here. It's always so hard to choose, like see these Kabu shows every day. Um, I'm trying to make Matt think of the cinema. I always forget that there's a cinema here, but um, we actually need to get home. So I will show you the things I bought when I get home and give you a quick little haul at home. Now I love you and Leeds, so let's eat. So here we go, as promised, this is the coat, these are the boots, so, love, I thought they were too shiny but I really like them, and then this coat, good morning and happy Thursday, so I'm heading to Greece and um, last night I was filming and then I put the clip on my computer and it didn't work, so I thought I'd end this vlog here. I've just filmed a huge haul video with all my new coats, which is going to go live on Sunday, so excited, that's my mum just shouting me packed another suitcase wearing a new jumper dress um, but yeah thank you so much for following along this week I really really hope that the sound was better in this vlog and I'm so sorry if you guys thought it was a bit rubbish last week I think just because I'm getting a new camera I'm just getting used to it I'm totally still getting used to this vlogging stuff but I really appreciate you guys following me giving me nice feedback um, and helping me out along the way obviously if stuff goes wrong like bad quality or bad sound then I'm really sorry but Hey, I'm here and I'm vlogging um, and I really, really do appreciate your feedback and support. It means the world to me. We had so much fun at Meadow Hall last night. I literally am still full from the Wagamama. I am so obsessed with the boots and the coat that I bought and a little two-piece which you'll see in Greece next week. I was saying to Matt, it's really funny because we've both been going to Meadow Hall for years and we probably have crossed paths so many times and didn't even know each other. Now that is fate. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all on Sunday for another video. Bye.